uh, rave rap, Lindsay Lawler's mechanical, LED, studded, programmable. This is the electric giraffe project. This is kind of like the, what you call the, the fair's mascot. They sort of adopted us as their, as their official animal, the fair. Now, what we did was, back in 2005, I found this little toy from Tamaya Corporation in Japan. We looked at that and it was like, hmm, could we possibly build a walker out of that? Could we actually build a robot? So we got out the, the micrometers and uh, looked at the best size to take something like that. So we took it up 24 times as large. Okay. So this this machine behind me is 24 times the size of this little toy right here. Now, what we did was we put in 36 volt set of batteries, running a 36 volt motor, running hydrostats, which give me analog hydraulic control for forward and reverse oil flow. This means I don't have to have a motor speed control, so you'll never really hear the motor changing speed or doing anything. All I'm doing is just varying oil flow here in this hydraulic motor. We built it all out of plexiglass so it would take on a little bit more of an artistic light, and you can see right through the pump, and you can see all the mechanics and everything and how it works. Um, the machine at this point would estimate weighs about 2,000 pounds, and with the neck fully up, it's about 16, 7 feet up in the air, pretty much close to a real giraffe. What I'm going to do is going to go ahead and fire it up, go ahead and walk it back and forth for you a little bit, and we'll answer some more questions after that. <laughs> so let's see, you ready? Okay. Now steering, steering's achieved in the rear end. You operate one motor, and this single motor can turn a drive shaft. It's the same shaft that the giraffe is resting on. And by driving these little transmissions in here, that drives the wheels back and forth. So that's how we steer them. So we can roll them forward in reverse. We can steer them as well. And then what we do is, we can make it walk too. Now, when you saw that little giraffe walking, you noticed how jerky the motion was. A machine, a robot that tries to walk, that's one big problem. If it, if it sets its foot down, it's going to stop with all the weight of the entire machine on that foot. We don't do that because we have ankles and ligaments, you know, and joints in our knees. He doesn't have that. So what we do is we roll him just a little bit, and then we walk him, and that smooths the motion out a little bit. He's actually picking his legs up and walking. If I stop the walking motion, I'm just going to roll it. Walk it again. You can see that jerky stiffness there when he lands. But he'll still go ahead and walk. Now if we roll him a little bit, it gets a little smoother. I'll bring him forward again. Yeah, we can do that. We'll get there. Now you see everything swaying down underneath. That's a lot of material and stuff in there. I'd say he weighs about 2,000 pounds right now. Now the question was, yes, can the, can the neck go up and down? Yes, it can. We can raise this up. We can take them up pretty high. We got a little... <laughs> we can take it all the way up. I don't want to take it up any further beyond that. I want to bring it down and show you the guys the neck. Phil, you want to catch the head? Just, come yeah, the line. Just catch it from the neck. Yeah, don't catch the head. Here it comes. There we go. A little lower. 